What's good people, welcome back to the video. Today we're acting to Travis Scott, Upper Echelon featuring TI and 2 Chains. This one's been recommended to me a couple of times in some of the previous Travis Scott videos. Check when this came out, it was 2013, and this was from a project called Al Faro, which I also didn't know existed, just like I didn't know the Days of Full Rodeo existed. If you guys want me to check that out, let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely check it out. We're doing Rodeo next, but I don't mind going back and sort of checking that out at a later date. Just a quick update on Rodeo, I am gonna do it. I know there's been a bunch of people just constantly commenting like, where's Rodeo? My schedule is fucking crazy the moment and the amount of time that goes into an album reaction like recording it and then editing it is mad and i work full time as well so it's difficult and i want to be able to upload daily so that's why there's a lot of like single track reactions at the moment rodeo and after hours is coming as soon as i can just sit down and have the time i can just sit down and rush the recording and just rush the whole process but there's just no point i know the quality of video isn't going to be good and i'm not gonna enjoy what i'm releasing for you guys so i want to find the time to literally sit down and take it in and do it properly so i hope you guys can appreciate that and i will get it to you as soon as possible but for the meantime we've got upper echelon featuring uh, ti and 2 Chains is going to be interesting. Can't say I've really listened to too much TI. I've listened to a decent amount of 2 Chains. I actually noticed that TI was on a lot of early Travis stuff. TI sort of put Travis on to an extent, or at least help him grow. Someone let me know in the comments below. Before we jump into it, guys, if you are new around here, please do drop a sub. We're on the road to 2K, and we're trying to hit that as soon as possible. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below. And of course, drop a like and a comment on the video as well. I really appreciate it. Without further ado, guys, let's just get into this, man. Travis Scott, Upper Echelon, TI and 2 Chains. Uh, let's get it. Oh, I'm wondering if this is going to be like similar style to Days Before Rodeo. If so, I'm excited. Okay, so already it's just 2013 all the way through, you know, like those horns and just the general sounds. It's just really reminiscent of that time. I feel like some of the sounds and styles used then don't necessarily age well, like those horns and shit. I think it's a horn of some sort, you know, that sound that just like brought it in. Obviously, I'm not saying this hasn't aged well, as I haven't, I haven't listened to it yet, but it's really reminiscent of that time. It's definitely in that period of time, but it's sounding hard so far. <laughs> Heavy production. That as well, that little click sound. That was everywhere. Sign, he's just popped the bandit. Ooh. Wave rock like a line, it froze like a line. Body at the fix, damn, that's how I'll land it. I like what's in with his voice there. Clap, clap, throw them bands. Walking through the water, off they know my name, yeah. Dropped out, got signed, got mom house all in the same, yeah. Flow, bro. Come around, we ain't got the time, beat. No. Straight up. Watch me do the Randy touchdown. Knew how much I get. Think the flame, the golden child. Think the flame, the golden child. Up fucking called it. Definitely the golden child. What, seven years on from this? Crazy. I'm fucking with this, but that little click sound and stuff, I don't know why. It's just giving me sort of like dated vibes. I'm not hating on the track. I just don't really like that little sound. I don't know. It just, it just doesn't sit well with me. I think it just reminds me of like the music from that time that I didn't really enjoy too much. I don't know. I mean, I am fucking with it. This is probably an exception, but I don't know. That sound just, just annoys me for some reason. But I'm liking what Travis is doing with his voice. His tone, he's sounding very different. I mean, it's crazy to see from seven years ago to now, just how different it is. But what he was doing the end of every sentence, like switching up his voice, almost like his accent. Solid hook. Hey. He niggas a man. I swear you best show some respect or else I guarantee you get wet. You Don't fucking know. with us, mm. I suggest you invest in a vet. A chopper no less than a tech. He Ooh. never want trouble with that on the bed. He just wanna talk, I ain't finna do that. I just might pull up wherever you at. Put my foot in your ass and a hole in your hat. Put a foot in your ass and a hole in your hat. Bro, T.I.'s come in, man. He's snapping. His flow and delivery is really dope. I can't say I've listened to too much T.I. I recognize his voice. Like, I know who the guy is, but I've never really listened to, like, his music. I think I've only really heard him on features. If any of you want me to check out some T.I., let me know in the comments below. I don't think he has that big a fan base. I mean, oh, I could be shooting myself on the foot completely there. I just feel like I don't really know that many people that listen to T.I. I don't even know if he necessarily releases music anymore. I don't really know much about the guy, but he seems to be snapping on this, man. His flow, loving the wordplay, just the little sequences he's doing, oh, I'm fucking with, man. Okay, hold up, let me freeze 
up. Okay. These niggas must have caught amnesia. My face caught in these streets, cause A1 credit, no visa. Excuse me, shout it, don't get me started. If your shit sick, my shit retarded. Ooh. Motherfucker can't see the trees, but a far get wrong, get shot, then leave him in the forest. Go way to the end of the earth just to get my check in the beer, get hurt. Keep hey, going. First thing Fuck. First, this is what I do. Okay, I'm a king, motherfucker, who the hell are you? Check suckers off top, I bet. I'm a king, motherfucker, who the hell are you? Bro, I'm loving his lyrics. I'm loving his delivery. It's aggressive. He's just talking himself up. He's just bigging himself up. I presume the premise of this track, Upper Echelon, is just about how they are Upper Echelon. You know, they're not the average guy. They've made it this far. They're sort of just boasting and just being cocky, which, yeah, fucking hell, man, that's rap music, innit? But uh, this is a prime example of them doing it very impressively, especially T.I., man. He's going crazy on this, bro. Fair fucking play, man. I wasn't sure what to expect, and now uh, he's blown me away slightly, to be honest. He's snapping, bro. I said snapping so many times, but Jesus Christ. You better lay down, fool. We trim, dela trim, fuck them, fuck niggas. Top shelf, it's a southern oh, accent as well. Pull out the south, pull out the ride. We so high, upper echelon. Straight on through We so fucking high, upper echelon. Damn. Damn. Hey. Pull up in the Rari, my hoe beside me. It's a two seater, yo bitch can't ride home. I'm sorry. Let's get it jumping, call it Santa Court. I do rate two chains, man. You can smell that sand on me in court. Just beat the case, call it Larry Holmes. I love how the beat is taking this really dramatic, sort of cinematic almost spooky sort of lane for 2 Chains, which is interesting. I presume it's gonna drop back in. Bro, I fuck with 2 Chains, to be honest. I know he has some sort of whack, <laughs> whack lyrics from time to time, but I'm fucking with this so far. I just think he's really dope. He's just a household name, isn't he? But I'm fucking with him on this so far, man. I don't think he's quite gonna hit TI's level unless he goes off in the last section of this track, what we're gonna see. On the plane with your bitch and the Grill me. That little noise grill me. Okay, guys, that was Travis Scott, Upper Echelon, featuring TI and 2 Chains. That was really dope, to be honest. When I first started listening to it, I was slightly questioning the production because I just, that little click sound, but by the end of it, I was like, I fucking love the click sound, man. I feel like if you can use it in a certain way, like they've used it, I just feel like it was so overused back in the day, I think, and it just rings alarm bells in my head of just like, nah, it just reminds me of this just style of rap back in the day that just wasn't that great, that, ev that everyone seemed to use, but they used this really well. I thought this was really dope. T.I. just blew me away. I think he stole this track completely. I think his verse was crazy. Travis was dope on the chorus. I like what he was doing with his voice, like I said. Uh, Two Change was cool as well. I feel like he took sort of a different style. It was a bit slower, but some smooth sort of punchlines and lyrics. Whole premise of the song was just upper echelon, how they're just, you know, the shit they have amassed and they have, there's just so much more than the average person, which is cool. I just for like that's what I was expecting coming into this anyway. But TI man, TI blew me away to be honest. That was a really hard verse. Delivery and flow was crazy. So really dope lyricism as well. I've never really heard anyone speak about him. Uh, whether he's really decent or not to be completely honest with you. So I'd really appreciate if you guys can just give me some context on him. Like I said, I know him, but I know nothing about his music, but that's just really impressed me. So maybe I do need to go and listen to some TI in my own time or react to it if you guys want me to. But yeah, man, really dope. Anyway, guys, if you like the video, drop a like. If you enjoyed my reacts enough to the point you want to see me again, then please drop a sub. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram in the description below. If you have any requests for any Travis Scott, 2 Chains, TI, or anyone else, chuck it in the comments below. For the meantime, guys, I've been Charlie, and I'll see you in the next one.